Now it's the double white line, I guess. And Boyer still calls it yellow. Also, Jeff is back. This is so weird. All right, lap 72, we get a 28 car pile up. Someone goes for your good old classic Days of Thunder style barrel roll down the back stretch. And there will be at least four big wrecks in this race, with three of them happening after 10 laps to go. That's my prediction. Most likely wrong, but I'm bold and ambitious and stupid for reasons. <laughs> Here we go. Oh, I have no clue what to expect for this race. Oh god, they're already bump drafting. Logano wants to... Didn't he say you're not going to see much bump drafting after turn one? Well, I guess he did stop right after turn one. Oh, this is going to be a wild race. <laughs> Please just say no line is dominant over the other. That would be fantastic, because this week there's been a problem with that, I think. Oh, oh no, that's Noah. No, what happened? That's a shame. Got a lot of experience yesterday in the Xfinity race. You've got to yeah, be looks kidding. Like, uh, he knows it in pretty hard. Really hard. I haven't seen one of these cars actually smashed up he done. that hard yet this year. Looks like right in the middle of the corner. They just went in like he had normally been doing. Right in the middle of the Alsco sign. It got he loose. Lo he, he, so he lost it. And when it corrected, it bit and turned straight to the right head onto the wall. Well, we've seen oh, a lot. You this know, is going to be a long day if cars really are doing that. To catch it back to the right. Oh, yeah, he did lose it. He was all alone. Back there. Yeah. Exactly I like Ross Chastain at, at California earlier this God. year. That is a hard, a hard hit. As hard as you can hit. Well, one, these cars, right? Low well, that ain't tire, good if cars are doing that. Wing works great in a straight line. Do you like to sleep right now? I really think I should sleep right now. Like, I might actually sleep and just set an alarm for, like, I don't know, 6 o'clock, something like that. Probably on the final stage, we get I'm tired. If anyone wants any sort of interesting reaction to this race, you better hope I get some sleep in the next hour and a half. I am tired. I'm more alert now. If I start to go unalert due to sleep, I will slap myself as hard as I humanly can. Well, actually, I might cry if I do that because I'm weak. But... Um, yeah, normally the end of these stages get pretty crazy, and I know on Super Speedways they tend to wreck in those closing laps of stage one, like every race. Honestly, yeah. In most of the last Super Speedway races, the worst wreck of the race has happened in stage one. No, Ross! He's good. He did a heck of a job of not sending that Aww. car all the way around. See, oh, yeah, now it's the, 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 it's lagging. Great. Oh, Denny making a big move. Oh, Dylan. Dylan and Bush. Oh. Oh, and Ty Dylan and others. Every Dylan. And Chase Briscoe, last week's winner, spinning. That was that split second decision. Welcome to stage one at any super speedway, ladies and gentlemen, in which we cannot make it to the end without some form of a major wreck occurring. Great. Well, it looked like it got kind of Austin Dylan a little bit Dylan is skewed. Got a little loose. That Dylan is done. on the outside of Ty Dylan with a bunch of... Damage. Oh, oh wow. Dylan Brothers 
Oh no. Under that accident. Yeah, so you can see you know, with this crazy racing on such a small saying, track compared to Daytona and Dega, like this, I could totally see this out. race looking a lot a like the Daytona 500 last year. A lot in the future, you where half the field wrecks out on like lap 15, and then the rest of the race is ruined till the final lap. Oh, three wide for the lead. Oh boy, they are tied out of the corner. <laughs> and Bell got hung out. I thought people would not have gone with Harvick. They didn't go with Bell. Oh, they're going to slide up off the corner probably. I don't know. This three wide racing is too sketchy right now. Don't don't be doing this. <laughs> oh boy. Larson going back. Oh boy, they're squeezing. We're inching near a wreck. I don't know how these cars are going to survive this stage. I don't know. Trucks sucked. Like, the truck series race actually made me want to just jump out the window. The Xfinity series race was alright. It was mostly single file, but it was pretty good. At the end, they got side by side and they kept it like that, and that was really good. This Cup Series race is the best race of the year so far. Oh, four, four. We don't do that. This is not Talladega. You wouldn't do that at Daytona unless you wanted to wreck half the field. Don't do it here. Oh, this is happening. I just realized Stenhouse leads. It's only a matter of time now. How long until Ricky Stenhouse Jr. adds to the number of wrecked cars he's caused in his career? It's only a matter of time now. I wasn't going to say anything about it because I was too late when I saw Haley starting to yaw to the right or the left mid corner but i had to and i realized it was ricky stenhouse who was about to spin him and cause mass carnage scrolling through twitter and well no watching youtube videos while checking my notification center and sounds like under this commercial break it happened and I wouldn't be surprised if Stenhouse is either involved or the cause of it. So, let's see what happened. Eventually, after Blaney gets done promoting Advanced Auto Parts. Nope, Buffalo Wild Wings, come on. Well, Reddick is involved and it looks like Logano was on grass. And Reddick is out. Right in front of the field. This time collected a lot more cars. Oh god, it was a huge wreck. He was side by side with Stenhouse. And Stenhouse wasn't involved. Oh. Oh yeah, everybody at the back just went kablam. Yep, that's like half the field. Larson's in it, Hamlin, Blaney, Sin or no, that's Cindric, Bowman, Logano, LaJoy. Oh yeah, there's like, there's like at least 12 or 15 people in this. Damn it, I hate commercial breaks. Why can't we just do the Sky Sports F1 thing and have no ads? The world would be a better place. Kyle. He is the only guy who could save stuff like that. Okay, what, that, that's, that's career... Amazing save number seven that I could think of off the top of five, something like that. I don't like this sort of racing, especially since my favorite driver is right in the middle of three wide and it's multiple rows deep. Oh, they, they saved at the pump. I don't really care. I've seen that ad before. I get it. Turn. Why do people like Ryan Blaney and Joey Logano Pitt's need to save refresh. at the pump? The they, they're time. probably so millionaires, and if not, awfully so damn close. I don't, I don't think spending an extra dollar a gallon is really going to hurt them all that much. 
I get it's expensive, but don't think it'll hurt him too much. Stenhouse! Ooh! And another major wreck. It's always the leader. That killed Cinder. That killed Stenhouse. <laughs> Even when it's not his fault, he's in it. Oh, God. I don't know. It all depends on the suspension for Cinder. Stenhouse has to be done. He, he's not winning this race, at least. He might continue on, but he's not driving in a pack. And we're on to the final lap of the... Oh! Chase is in it! Larson's out. Larson's crashed again. It's a super speedway race. Oh, yeah. Carnation was right on Twitter. He was 100% right. Larson's wrecking. It's a super speedway race. 100% confirmed. And so is stage one end on the green today. And less cars are left in this race, so there won't be a 28 car pile. Oh, my prediction there was wrong. Waiting for him to clear. He's not quite clear yet. Still side by side, not quite clear yet. Still not clear yet. Probably not going to be clear for another five centuries. Still not clear. Not clear. Not clear. Not clear. Not clear. Not clear. Still, he's not clear. He's not going to get clear. Okay, now I think he's clear. Chase Elliott is leading. I'm a fan of Chase Elliott. How does it go wrong today? Oh shit, I have to take this out on the YouTube community post. Oh my god, Larson's DNF two weeks in a row. That it, has that ever happened? Has Kyle Larson in the five car ever DNF two weeks in a row? Has Kyle Larson... I'm starting to forget now. Has Kyle Larson ever gone two weeks in a row without winning a race before in his life? I'm going to put this as simply as I possibly can. So that way if Chase wins, it doesn't sound biased. I'm going to say this right now. This race right now is a solid 10 out of 10. Please, I am praying to God because I saw him at the back of this pack. Please tell me Cody Ware is on the lead lap. Please tell me he's on the lead lap. <laughs> if he's on the lead lap, I've got my pick to win. There's a spider in the bathroom and I saw my life flash before my very own eyes. I had to kill a spider. I lost it. It crawled under the wall or something. Cause like, hang on. You see right here, my wall has this wood thing. It crawled under here so I can't reach it. This isn't in the bathroom. This is in my room, but the bathroom looks exactly the same when it comes to wall. My chair wheel broke off the other day, so I've technically been sitting on a rocking chair for the past eight hours, nine hours, nine and a half hours since F1 began, since F1 pre-race began at 9.30 this morning. We are 13 minutes away from eight. I also have to eat, so a flip would be ideal now just to get a red flag going. Or a lengthy caution. Have it be like a Kyle Busch 2014 Daytona flip where like, it's not a danger one. It's just someone gets stuck on the apron at the wrong angle and someone drives underneath them and flips them over. Because then they have to take like 25 minutes flipping the car back over. Now there is one more test. We passed every test. Stenhouse being the cause for an accident, whether it was his fault or not. We got that. We got the test of Kyle Larson crashing out. Um, we completed the pack test. We completed the choo-choo round the outside test. There's one more test we need to complete to confirm Atlanta as a super speedway. And that is 
that rogue car spinning who was five laps down, not in the pack, slash debris caution with 10 to go. That turns this race into a 24-hour endurance race, bringing 85 wrecks afterwards. If we get that, it's officially a super speedway. If we don't, then I don't know what it is. It's a somewhat super speedway. Somewhat speedway, I don't know. So, first time I've ever asked a genuine question in which I want a response in the comments. How long will Atlanta last as a super speedway before this place becomes way too ridiculously bumpy and slow to have pack racing? I would like to know what everyone thinks about this. I'll give it five years. I'll give it till 2027. After that, no chance of a super speedway. Oh, we gotta move. Oh, it's Legano. Come on, we need at least two more lead changes. We should easily get it, but who knows? Two more breaks the track record. I don't know what the NASCAR record is, but I think we're still 40 lead changes away from that. I think it was in the tandem drafting era at Talladega. I want to say it's like 87, 92, something like that. We've still yet to ever have a race with 100 Looks lead like changes. Oh my god, Cody Ware is in 20th. <laughs> Chase could wait another week. We're at a road course next week. He'll be fine. This might end nasty. They're like, kind of four. Oh, Chastain. look out, Briscoe. Here we go. Oh, caution. And I'm going to go eat some pasta. Oh, Cody, no. Up, oh, something blew out. Oh, no. Cody was doing so well, but I think that's our Rick Ware racing moment right there. Oh, please tell me he got hit and this wasn't just talent loss. Now there's fluid all over, so red... Well, that's off track. But maybe red flag to save laps? All right, I have to go. No time to see what happens. I have just returned from eating. You could not make this up. You could not time this better. Didn't have the race on downstairs. Had no clue where they were. I just ate normally at a quicker speed, but normally. Oh, Amarola. Oh, it's never ending. One car, no damage though. We still got time, we still got room, we still got the numbers. It's like I'm an evil mastermind forming a master plan. Oh, Bubba to the lead. Could this be the day Bubba gets his first legitimate win? Of course, Talladega counts, but it was rain shortened at literally just past halfway, so... Kinda do better. I get the feeling this racing is gonna remind me so much of 2019 with the huge runs. Oh my God, they are sideways. Blaney and Byron. Chase is working his way up there, almost into the. He's into the top five now. Come on, Bubba or Chase. Come on. Chase got left out. He has zero help. Oh, he got back up. Oh my God, that was close. Come on, Chase. Come on. This is calm. Too calm. All right, we're going to the finish here. Three laps to go. Without a yellow, no longer than a minute and a half left in this thing. Chase hops back up high. That should probably get him a spot. Bell getting really close to Briscoe. Yikes. Chastain thinking about it. Not quite. When does Bubba go for it? 
Oh, I was going to say Blaney was going to take that run, but he never got the run. So weird how runs work. It's starting to get dark. We're going to make it to the white flag, I think. Look at this. Oh, look at all the moves. They're all going to the bottom. Coming to the final lap. Come on, Ross. Ross. Oh, Bubba, Bubba, Blaney. Blaney's in the wall. He saved it. Chastain. Oh, boy. Is Byron going to win it? Ross might have a run. Byron's going to win. Oh, boy. Huge wreck. Oh, boy. That did not look nice. Dude, I saw that 17 go up across the track, and I had a heart attack. Now I can take a breath. Oh. Great job by William Byron. Hendrick won again. No. It's only Chase. Chase is the only one who needs to win now. Oh, that was scary. If it wasn't for Ross, or if it wasn't for Christopher Bell, Ross would have won that. Next race is only 400 miles, right? I mean, that's 10 out of 10, but please, a bit shorter. That took way too long. I love how in the one race, Jeff commentates it's his car number that goes to victory lane. It's his replacement driver. Well, not really, but kind of his replacement driver. I guess Byron's the replacement for Elliot. Kind of. But it's... The replacement for the replacement driver for Jeff getting the win. While Jeff commentates. That's kind of funny. Not gonna lie. Kind of ironic how that works. Of course Suarez and Chastain come up so close again too. Alright. So Larson won early in the season again this year. Just like last year. Byron and Bowman got their first wins of the season. Bowman by beating Larson, just like last year, when Larson had it in that race. Byron got his first win on a mile and a half, just like last year. Chase, if he wins this year, will be the last of the 400 drivers to win, just like last year. Next week, we go to Coda. If he wins, it'll be just like last year. I need to check the forecast to see if it's going to rain and pour like last year. I want to see a replay of this last lap wreck, but I'll just do that in my own time. I've had enough of this. Ugh. So next week is Coda, but more importantly, next week is Jeddah for F1, so... Next week and, is going to uh, be interesting. Back, uh, where I could drive it and this had been Can't wait. Fast. It, it was so fast. I mean, we were fighting with